Oh my gosh, this is like the fifth time I've done this intro. Welcome to the official first video of this channel. So today, we're going to be getting a tattoo at the worst reviewed one star uh, tattoo shop in my city. So let's pick one out together. Okay, Google tattoo. Learn how to spell. All right. All these five stars, like, come on. You would think there would at least be like a two star. Google doesn't want to help us. We need one stars. Give me one stars. Let's see. The service here was crap right from the beginning. My best friend decided to get tattoos to commemorate. Commemorate. Our wonderfully odd, quirky 18 year friendship. Be sure to verify that you have to come your weekend while I was there visiting my parents. We looked in a few places and Ink Soul Studio came recommendation by acquaintance. I even offered to decide to wait. Four days went by and I heard nothing from my Called and saved it on my email. The guy on the phone asked me which email I sent to, which is another question. Okay, da da da. We were greeted by one of the tattoo artists, Guy. Hey, how are you guys? Me, good. We are here for a six degree appointment. Guy, for what? Me, a tattoo. Guy, huh? Me, I emailed you guys last week and my friend were getting a custom tattoos of Guy the lawnmower, right? Oh! Me, it's a tricycle. Smart ass. Guy, hey Jay, your 6.30 appointment's here. I have a 6.30? Yeah, you have too. Okay, well, let me just fix this chick's ankle. Takes a seat. Really? You wanna take her first? Did she have an appointment too? Fine, we sat down once again, waited. Over 25 minutes passed and no one bothered to tell us anything and she was still tattooing, and he was still tattooing the other girl. One of the artists were sleeping on the couch and the other one was on the phone the entire time we were there. No one spoke to us, in fact, I have an appointment was the only artist that does. Okay, next one. So, very unprofessional. I booked an appointment three weeks in advance, not because they were busy, but because I wanted the artist to have plenty of time to sketch the tattoo. I had described it to him in detail. I showed up for the appointment right on time, the artist I hadn't even looked at the pictures I gave him yet. Oh jeez. Let alone sketch anything. He told me to just come back and back in a half hour. I gave him a full hour, but when I came back, he was just beginning his lunch. So my friend and I sat and waited until he ate and socialized. When he eventually made time for me, I told him the sketch was nothing like what I had described in response. Well, this is more my style. She's like, it's not clean your rights going on mine. I described what I would like change, and he said I was being picky. When I finally got under the needle, two and a half hours after my appointment, he mentioned to my friend not to touch the equipment because it could have blood on it. Okay. He didn't take the time to reassure me of safety to use, which would have been nice considering he knew this was my first tattoo. After examining the outline that he did, I could see he clearly didn't have a steady hand. The work was sloppy. I will go elsewhere to have it colored and shaded and hopefully they can fix his scribble. Right, so I guess that's like an option. Let's see. This one here, Lucky Devil Tattoos. A friend and I walked in the shop inquiring if they had any walk-in availability, not even knowing if they took walk take walk-ins or not. It was just an inquiry, and the front reception was immediately incredibly rude. The girl rudely asked, well, what do you want? And this is clearly a tattoo and piercing shop, and I said, a tattoo. Followed by her laughing in my face and replying with, well, obviously, but what is it? I need to see what it is. Her condescending and judgmental attitude made us feel like we did something wrong, but we continued to deal with this now awkward and embarrassing situation by describing that what we wanted was small and a simple design. She then interrupted us to rudely say that she needed a picture. Yes, we get that. And although we were in shock with how we were being treated, we asked if she had any paper and a pen so we could show her. She then proceeded to literally throw paper and pen at us on the counter. It was then that we decided to take our business elsewhere. I felt embarrassed and inadequate with her treatment toward us. It was just as if, because I, I don't have any visible tattoos, which by the way, both my friend and I have several tattoos, so this is not our first rodeo, that I was judged and felt that I should not be there. Do, do, do. Okay. All right, guys, so <laughs> Shannon says, if you want to get the wrong word tattooed on you, even though the stencil was perfect, totally go see Rich. I wouldn't send my worst enemy to him. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're gonna be requesting for Rich. So they probably open at 12 is what I'm guessing. So I will give them a call in an hour. 
All right, guys, it is 12.08. Let's give these people a call. Hi, um, I was just wondering, do you guys have an appointment available today for like a walk-in? Really small tattoo. Uh, what were you looking to get? Um, so I think I want 1994, just in like really small letters, just on my ribs. Okay, um, so we do have one artist available. Um, she'll be available like around like in between 3.30 and 6.30. Okay. Um, we have to walk in, so it is first come, first serve. We just can't make any promises. Okay, no problem. Um, Is Rich available? He is not, unfortunately. Um, so Kate and Deanna are here, and Kate would be the one that would be available. Okay. Um, When would a key be available, do you know? So he, he's actually on uh, medical leave. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah, he had surgery on his wrist, so we're not totally sure when he's going to be coming back, but... Right, okay. Well, yeah, I'll see if I can come in later then. I guess around probably like six ish. Okay, yeah, so again. Um, Walk ins, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just has an appointment at 6 30, so um, don't like try not to leave it too, too close to 6 30. I'll just right. be able to do it. But, uh, okay, awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Bye. Mm, okay, so it looks like I'm getting my tattoo at six, so. See you all there. Okay guys, so we are on our way to Lucky Double. And I've decided <laughs> to get <laughs> Chipotle on my lip, in my lip. And I'm not gonna think twice about it, I'm just gonna do it because you really only live once. Like, it's a thing, right? I was gonna say, you only live once. Chipotle. So Jazz will be recording. Um, I have no idea if we're allowed to record in there, but I guess we'll find out. I thought we should go somewhere else. Yeah, if not, then literally I'm gonna go somewhere else because like that's lame. That's super stupid. Super stupid. Super stupid. I want to get Chipotle right here. Don't want to do it. Certain people want tattoos like inside the mouth and stuff like that. Um, but I can get them to talk to you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Nice to meet you. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you can't, sorry, you can't film. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. So that place is a no go because they wouldn't let us record. So. We're going to that one other spot, the Ink Soul Studio Tattoo, whatever it's called. But we're gonna go there and, okay, so I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna get honey right there. So we'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, so we're here, except the place is actually a different name. Like, it's called the Red Koi. Like, it was same address and all that, so we will see what's up. So, first impressions, the shop was a little sketchy. There was no one in there. It was deserted, kind of dirty. He definitely saw me like filming some of that stuff and he was like, yeah, no, I have one of my coworkers, kids is in the back. We don't want her being on the camera or being filmed, blah, blah, blah. So that's fine. But I asked if I could still record getting it done. And he said, yes. So that was cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna do 
there's gonna be some clamps on your lip, okay? Okay. Hold your lip. And can we do it like kind of like as far back as we can? Mm -hmm. sort of? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know. How's that feel? That's fine. Okay. It's gonna hang though, okay? Uh huh. No, it's no. straight. It's like <coughs> the way your lip is. Like when it pulls, yeah, because it it distorts it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just, just. Yeah. When you when it's like that, it looks straight. Yeah. It's just okay. Because those are all these there. These are bending them. Like, okay. Just like pulling them. Ready? Yeah. Does it look cute? Yeah, I like it. We should just go walking around like this. <laughs> so the tattoo itself did not hurt whatsoever. Like it literally, I feel like everyone should get their first tattoo on the inside of their lip, I swear. It was pretty quick. I will say though, he charged me $80. Are you serious? Maybe $60 at most, you know? Definitely price was way too high place was pretty dirty. Like he was friendly, but you know, the tattoo itself is pretty good. I actually really like it. Overall experience would definitely say it's not a one star. I would give it about like a three star. Meh, maybe two and a half, I don't know. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you in another one. Honestly, like, I think it's pretty cute.